Bernard. Hi, happy Thursday, and welcome to Now, the fun show hosted by me, Curtis P. Today we're kicking the entire show off talking about the fact that I've been gone for a few days. I'm very sorry. I was in Calgary, Alberta, shooting a short film of sorts that will come out in the near future. But the other big topic happening in the world today, well, the fact that the U.S. government It's back open. Yes, that's right, everyone. As of last night, the U.S. government is back open for business. At least I kind of think so. A bill has been approved last night to give funding back to federal workers. This is a good sign as federal workers are expected to head back to work today. At least, apparently. Again, not too sure, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. The debt cushion has been extended through to February 7th. It's always good to just push those Push those payments back a little bit. Of course, if you want more information about this, check out a link in the description down below. I found a CNN article all about this. It explains like a bunch more stuff. But to a story that I care a lot more about, though it affects less of the world, the most recent episode of South Park was delayed. Yes, last night there was supposed to be a brand new episode of South Park. That being the Goth Kids 3, Dawn of the Poser. Or episode number 1704. But the key to all of this, there was supposed to be an episode, but there wasn't. It is the first time the South Park studio have ever missed their deadline in the 13 years of producing the show. Now, notoriously, the South Park studio has its six days to air. They've even made a documentary about this, showing off the fact that each episode is a six day process, in which time they actually come up with the idea of the show animate the whole thing and send it off to be broadcast. Often the show arrives at Comedy Central just hours before it's going to be broadcast. Well, this time the reason it didn't make it off to Comedy Central in time Well, a three hour power outage at the studio. This of course causing a lot of problems in the year 2013 when it comes to like computer rendering of a TV show. Trey Parker stated, it sucks to miss an air date, but after all of these years of tempting fate by delivering the show last minute, I guess it was bound to happen. Episode 1704 is set to air next week on the 23rd. Talking about broadcast, let's talk about the Sims 3 live broadcast because there's one happening today. Yes, today at 10 a.m. Pacific time, Sim Guru Lauren and Sim Guru Brittany are going to attempt to live stream the Sims 3 into the future. Another key word here, attempt, just because not trying to make fun of them. Love you, Lauren. Love you, Brittany. So much love. But like every time you two get together, there always seems to be a problem. So get your bingo cards out because I know a lot of people have those and you might as well just shade in technical difficulties right now. Once again, all the love to Lauren and Brittany. But if all things do go well, they will be diving deep into the game, demonstrating how you can actually change the future in the expansion pack into the future. Will you create the ultra utopian society or a world of chaos? Check it out at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Link in the description down below to find that. Of course, you can also ask them questions using the hashtag pound or hashtag the sims lb you can use that on twitter and they'll answer your questions there next up from sims news to apple type news love me some apple news and according to them they still have a lot to cover that's because on october 22nd they're hosting another big event apple is expected to announce a brand new full-sized ipad in the form factor of the ipad mini also they're possibly going to include the touch id sensor into the ipad this will be very helpful as every time i now pick up my ipad i simply push the home button and rest my finger on it, expecting it to unlock, then noticing about 30 seconds later that it's still on the lock screen being like, you could swipe me, just just swipe me. And I'm like, oh, I should swipe this. So that's an added benefit to all of this. Of course, they're also going to be showing off the finalized version of OS X Mavericks, that being the next generation of their desktop operating system. Along with that, possibly some new MacBook Pros for all those people who are interested in a new laptop, and the new Mac Pro, the super cool looking cylindrical, super powerful computer. Just look at it, it looks amazing. And maybe, just maybe, they'll show off their smartwatch, which everyone is like expecting and like hoping for. Though when I think about it, I'm like, it's like a 5% chance that Apple's gonna show off their smartwatch. I just don't think it's ready yet. Maybe 2014. Though a little different from product type news, Apple's new campus has been approved. Yes, the new spaceship campus has received approval from the city council in Cupertino. That's right, the 2.8 million square foot campus, which is actually a four story building in the shape of a ring, has been approved. Demolition of the current buildings on the brand new site will begin in December. Tim Cook celebrated by tweeting, 
our home for innovation and creativity for decades to come. From Apple type news to space type news now, that meteorite that like exploded over Russia back in February, remember that thing? Well, it's been recovered from the lake in which it crash landed in. The 570 kilogram meteorite that actually injured more than a thousand people was pulled out of a lake and fun fact has been deemed among the 10 largest meteorites ever found. So maybe they'll like dig into that thing and find some really cool stuff or maybe they'll just put it on display in a museum. And last in the news today, Better Call Saul, the spin-off of Breaking Bad, could have some cameos in it. Yes, the spin-off that many people are skeptical about because it's a spin-off, like will it be any good? Who knows, but it will be created by the same person, Vince Gilligan, and will have a similar crew on it. The hope with Better Call Saul is to add to the Breaking Bad universe and kind of give us like a before time. Also, they could have some run-ins with characters we've already seen. Could it be Jesse or could it be Walt? We don't really know, but the show is expected to air in 2014. So of course, we'll all stay tuned to check that out. Or will we? That's the thing that I kind of want to know because are you interested in spin-offs like this? Like, do you enjoy them? Or are you are like, I don't really care. I just like the original. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think about spin-off TV shows. You can also let me know what you think on my Facebook page, Twitter account, or through Google+. Links to all that and the other articles I talked about in today's episode in the description down below. Check out all the links down there. Tons of cool stuff from today's show. Of course, if you enjoyed today's show, why not hit that like button, subscribe, and maybe even share the show with your friends. Until next time in the future in which I'm not sure what day it will be, I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now. Apparently. At this point in time. Right now. Yeah.